In today's video, I'm going to show you how to initiate request for refund whenever you encounter or experience failed transactions for your customers. Now, you perform the transactions and the customer got debited even when the transaction was declined. And uh, the customer may be disturbing that you are uh, to do anything possible to get a refund. And if you try to do the way you understand it, which is uh, initiating the refund request on the POS terminal, but you will be seeing a uh, syntax error or any other messages that may not allow you to initiate the request for refund. And uh, you'll be worrying, how do I do it? Now, in this video today, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to initiate requests for refund when you encounter US failed transactions. Let's dive. All right. For you to initiate the refund for the failed transactions on your PS terminal, the first thing you need to do, if you have tried on the PS at the street failed you cannot request for the refund on the pos terminal then the first thing you need to do is to log in to your account using atm.moneypoint.com and you log into your account with your username and password then you get to your dashboard like this then you want to go to the top left corner where you see three lines and click on three lines then you see sub menus where you see all transactions, transfers, withdrawals, airtime and data, bills, payment, peers, transfer, disputes, and all of that. Now, if it is a <coughs> if it is withdrawal transactions you have made and you want to request for a refund, you want to click on withdrawals. So when you click on the withdrawal and you want to scroll up to where you see that particular transaction that had or have the issue of debit for the customers. Then let me keep scrolling and use one transaction as an example. Okay, let's assume that these two, these four transactions here, the customer were debited for it and you are expected to initiate a request for a refund for the customer now you want to tap on it and tap on it if it is a transaction that the customer was debited then you see where you see ca download you also see dispute and then you click on dispute and put in the account number of the customer and the phone number of the customer and then uh, click submit and the request will be submitted successfully this does not show that option because this is not a debit a transition that debited customer if you look at it, the response for this message the reason for the field of this transaction is incorrect pin by the customer Customer put your own pin, then <coughs> go back and locate another transaction. So I'm trying to look for a cost. Okay, now this is the kind of transactions that the customer will be debited. If you look at this particular transaction, which is 9000, then you see this put shares and download then what you need to do here is to click on this put then put the customer account number for example if this is the customer account number seven versus first seven when you put the customer account number like this you want to select the bank of that account Now you click on confirm, you put the customer uh, phone number, you 
and put the customer phone number you want to click on submit and this is how to make a request for a refund for a few transactions that got customer debited so if you have any other question don't hesitate to go and drop it under the comment section of this video thank you